Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. I'm Adam from allstreamedup.com. In this video, I'm going to explain what an SRT file is that your DJI drone saves with all your video files. I'll show you how to turn them on or off if you prefer, and what types of data are stored within these files and how that data is useful to you. So let's jump right in. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings and we're going to go to the camera tab and we're going to scroll down until we see video subtitles right here and notice that it's toggled on. So if I toggle that off, it won't save those RS SRT files and if I toggle it back on, then it will save the files. So that's all you got to do. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a finder window uh, with all the files of a recent drone flight that I did, and I took some photos, so these are the JPEGs, and I shot some videos as well, and these are the MP4s, as I'm sure you're familiar with working with MP4s, but you'll notice that uh, there's also these SRT files. Now, for each MP4 file, you'll see that the file name ends in something like 0177 underscore D. You're also going to notice that there's an SRT file with the exact same name and just a different extension. So let's open up that MP4 file and bring up some data uh, from that SRT. So first of all, you're going to want to open this file in VLC. And once the file is open and playing, you're going to notice that there's nothing really other than a video file which is what, you're sh what you should expect. So what you need to do is go to subtitles and add the subtitle track. You're going to want to select the file with the exact same name and you're going to open it and it says subtitle track added. So now you'll notice when I hit play, oh hey look there's a bunch of information there. So let's review what this information is. Okay guys, so the information from top left to bottom right, let's review it. Now, um, I asked our friendly AI to give me a hand with this. So the top left, the frame count, uh, indicates the current frame number in the video. The diff time represents the time difference between the current and the previous frame in milliseconds. Then you have your timestamp right here. And then, of course, I call this like, I consider this like exit data on your video. You got your ISO, you got your shutter speed, you got your f-stop, you have your um, exposure value, color mode of the drone, and the focal length. So that's describing all of the information that your camera was set up for. Okay, and then um, next to that, you have your latitude and your longitude. So you know exactly where this frame um, for every frame of this video, you know exactly where the drone was located. And then, of course, you have altitude uh, relative to where the drone took off. And then absolute altitude. Let's check to see if that is sea level. Yes, it is. The absolute altitude ASL in meters. So there you go. You'd have to convert that a little bit. And then the other data at the bottom, that's your color temperature, 6,500 Kelvin. So it's actually um, really useful information in here. Um, but there is one little piece that I think specifically um, is extremely important. And so let's run through some use cases. All right, guys, for use cases, I'm going to put several of them in the description below. Uh, but there's one specifically that I wanted to mention, and that is the latitude and the longitude of the frame of every frame in that SRT file. It could be extremely important. It may even save lives. So I heard uh, one gentleman on a webinar um, talking about search and rescue, and he said that uh, sometimes, you know, they're flying over large areas with the drone and they don't always catch everything. So they come back and they use these SRT files um, if they find something as they review the footage later. Hey, look, there's a backpack or there's a missing person that we didn't see while we were out there flying, but they find it later. They can use that SRT file to get the precise latitude and longitude 
and then go rescue that person. So that's a pretty amazing use case. Now, there's a lot of other use cases, um, and it might even be as simple as flight review and analysis. So, you know, again, you have all that exit data on your frames, so you can look at your ISO and your f-stop and all that stuff, right? Um, it could be handy for geotagging, for mapping and surveying. Um, what about, like, reporting? If somebody comes and says, hey, you know, um, you did something that was uh, non-compliant and you need to tell us some information about it's going to help you um, give a lot more information there about your altitude and stuff. And, and it's, it's factual information. So it's data. Uh, it's not opinion. So that's helpful. And um, there's a few more. Uh, so have a read below and, and let me know what you think uh, would be a good helpful use case for you in the comments. And if you like this video, click like and please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.